Could you imagine one billion people becoming Christians? You know, souls being saved, coming to Jesus. Rick Joyner prophesied about a coming reformation of the church. And he tells us that we need to prepare for it because God's going to... Can you imagine this? Imagine this. A thousand people joining your church a week. Well, there's a billion soul harvest coming. And Rick Joyner said, we've got to be ready for it. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. We are talking about a prophetic word that was given that on February 28th, the reformation of the church would begin. That was the day that God was going to touch the heart of President Donald Trump to bring in Reverend Billy Graham, who just happened to pass and be with the Lord after February the 5th when the word was given, where he prophesied out and spoke out that God would raise up many Billy Grahams. We talked about Mark Sharona, you know, and what God had given him and what uh, Benny, Benny Hinn and said the day would be the day that uh, uh, Reverend Billy Graham passed. And then we have Rick Joyner. Rick Joyner of Morningstar yes. Ministries talking about the Reformation right here. And he's speaking. We had this on our program earlier. We're, we're just going to read some of the stuff for you. But what does he say here? Some may have recognized the discrepancy to the present reality of the church compared to what was carried out and instructed through the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. So this is important. This is Rick Joyner, Morningstar Ministries. This is, he's talking specifically about, you know, um, the, the Rick Joyner, Morningstar Ministries, about looking at Scripture, and it's like there's discrepancies here about yeah. this is the way that we're supposed to walk it out, but the church looks totally different. Yeah. This has happened over the centuries, and, and God's reform, re reformation is coming. We're talking about this taking place. It's reforming. In fact, I'll, yeah. I'll read that again. Okay. Some may have recognized the discrepancy to the present reality of the church compared to what was carried out and instructed through the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. A new reformation of the church will begin to take definition. It's the first trend for, for this year. When we look at the original blueprint that the church was orchestrated to be through the Word of God, we can see what is in store. As a church, we are called to live a life of relationship and grow in unity and relationship with those around us. That's so important because, you know, everything we do needs to line up with Scripture. And if we get off, which we have a tendency to do, he said, you know, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me in Psalms 23, which means God's Word brings us back mm -hmm. to the place we're supposed to be. And I want to encourage you right now that you're going to have several people, and some people are going to be adamant against what God is going to do. And they're going to set themselves up against it because they're really defending what they feel is, is, traditions. is traditions and that type of thing. Then other people are going to just go after God, and most will. Mm -hmm. And there's others that are going to debate which way they should go. And there's, understand, you want to go with God, what God is going to do, because it's the most exciting. It's a billion soul harvest. Imagine a billion people, young people, getting saved across the earth. Mm. It's an exciting time. And everything, church as you know it, is going to be totally reformed. It has to be, refor be reformed. With a billion souls yes. coming into the kingdom, they're not going to fit As a matter of fact, in this the is present Rick, way. Yeah, this is Rick Joyner right here. Rick Joyner talking specifically about what's coming, how it's going to be totally changed as we know it. Check it out. These times are harvest times. Think about this. How would your church handle a thousand new members every week? And we all think that would be incredible. It will kill you. But we've got to start thinking like that. I tell you, we, we need to raise up hundreds of thousands of teachers. The evangelism is going to happen. Evangelists are getting anointed. This is going to happen. We need teachers ready to take new believers and get them established soundly on sound doctrine and made disciples, not just converts. One of the greatest reasons for the greatest weakness, I think, today is we've been making converts instead of disciples. No, the Great Commission is to make disciples, and we've got to be that first if we're going to make others. <clears throat> we need hundreds of thousands of people equipped right now to heal the sick, to cast out demons, to preach the gospel, to lay a solid foundation in new believers' lives. What I'm saying is we've got to fulfill the Ephesians 4 mandate to equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. It is not going to work on the model of ministry that is now demonstrated in much of the church. 
where you, it's like a spectator sport. You, you pay your entry fee and come watch a few people do it every week. No, we've all got to be engaged. I believe there's a home group movement and we've had many and great ones. I believe you're going to have home groups in every single neighborhood that are, that are solid where God is moving, where he is doing awesome things every week, every day, and where people are bonded together. There's nothing more exciting than this. As a matter of fact, go to vfnkb.com and go to the Vine Seminars and begin to get connected. You want to know what's going on. God gave gifts to the church to be able to function as we're supposed to. We can get rid of the walls when we have the fear of the Lord. It's exciting where we're going. We want to hear from you. You know, what's being said to you? We want to hear it. Comment below. Write to us. Email us. Let us know. We got to go. We got to pray for you. Father God, we just thank you for our community. We yes. thank you for what's going on, Lord God. And we just pray a blessing over them right now, Father God. We just thank you for this reformation. We say grace, grace, grace over the church, Lord God. And we just decree by faith, Lord God, that abortion has ended in America, that revival is here, and a third great awakening is here. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. I'm your host, Greg Lancaster, and we're so glad that you joined us. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com. I've enjoyed our time together. God bless.